Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. In this how-to, I'm gonna show you how to mix cement. Let's go. So you can mix cement in many different ways um, and I've got a lot to make, so I've got a mixer. But in essence, it's the same process, whether you're mixing it by hand or the mixer's doing it. The consistency, the key is consistency. So trying to get the same mix and ratio every single time. So the first thing I do with a mixer is I put one bucket of water in. Then to make sure the mix is consistent, I use buckets to fill up my sand and I use eight buckets to one full bag of cement. Let's do it. After four buckets of sand, I put in half a bag of cement. Now, if you cut the bag in half, you can put half in each time. You have to add more water to make it nice and mushy. That's halfway, so let's get the next four buckets of sand. Now, the mix is very dry, so we're gonna to have to get quite a lot more water in there. Using a hose is really good because when you pour it in with a bucket, it tends to spit everywhere. With a hose, you can get it to the back of the mixer, which helps. Now, with a mixer, generally the dry mix gets stuck at the back. So you've got to be patient, keep adding water slowly, and then eventually you'll see that the cement is peeling off the back of the mixer. And when it's a little bit glossy and peeling off the back of the mixer, then you're getting close to the right ballpark. Now, if you're laying slabs, you might want it a bit stiffer. And if you're laying brick brickwork, you might want it a little bit wetter. So that's going to be down to you to work out. Now you need to let it mix. As you can see, it's very sandy still, so it's not mixed properly. You leave it until it's the same consistency and colour throughout. Again, you can see it beginning to peel off the sides of the mixer. So we're getting close, but I think we're gonna need a little bit more water. So 
when you think your mix is about ready, I mean, mine needs a little bit more time in the mixer, but if you get a trowel full and shake it a little bit, if you can turn it upside down and the mortar doesn't fall off, then you're getting into the right ballpark of something that's usable. Um, if it's much thinner than that, it will just slide off the trowel and it will end up making huge amounts of mess. Much stiffer than that, and it will just it will be too crumbly, and it won't it won't adhere properly. So give it a couple of shakes like that, turn it upside down. If it stays on the trail, I reckon you're in business. And that is how you make cement using a cement mixer. Good luck.